What's up guys, I'm Improv and this is my Iron Man. I have no special restrictions and just plan to play the game my own way and show that even if you don't have all day to play, you can still achieve great things. This is Casually Maxing. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are focusing on doing our skipping and finishing that up, getting all of our points and things like that. And then later on we are going to be training some prayer using... Probably one of the best methods in my opinion, and the best part is it's safe for hardcore Iron Men as well, and it only requires 30 prayer. See, this is why, this is why NPC contact. I went from doing slimes, NPC contact, boom, cave bugs. They even have to move. Let's go. Can somebody explain to me why crawling hands have superiors, but some other like high level Slayer monsters don't? Like it doesn't make any sense. Like again, a Banshee superior like i mean i guess this one is okay since you can actually kill them in the catacombs you can kill the higher level ones it has like a higher level variant but still it's it's so weird like trolls should have a superior make dad pop up every once in a while or something you know what i mean finally made it to our 500th task oh my nobody talks about how how long it takes i mean even boosting obviously i did tutorial tasks for like the past hundred and like fifty, but that still takes a lot of time, honestly, running around and doing everything. But we finally made it. We're gonna get a huge bonus point um, once we finish this next task. Plus, we're already sitting on fourteen hundred points. So after we get this big bonus, we'll be good to go. We'll have enough points to last us for quite a long time. We won't have to worry about anything, and then we will just tutorial skip anytime we want to do tasks whenever we come back to Slayer. But we got to finish this off strong, get this 500th bonus points. So we get Greater Demons in Brimhaven Dungeon. I was almost excited because I was like, ooh, I can go do Tormented Demons, but you can't do that with uh, with this. With this, I actually have to go kill these ones. So got to go kill the ones in Brimhaven. We finally did it. We got the big 500 task streak. 630 bonus points we now have a little over 2,000 points here oh it has been a long time coming but we finally got that done now like i said going forward i am going to end up breaking it just because i have i've had a lot of situations where i ended up spending like 600 points trying to skip um either to get a specific task or just to not do certain tasks and Basically, I don't I don't want to have to spend points on that anymore. So we're just going to use Tariel to skip, like I said before. Um, 2,000 points should get me going for quite a while. I was thinking about using 1,000 of them to turn this Abyssal head or to attach it to my Slayer helmet just to make it look a little cooler. But I don't, I don't know if I want to do that right away. I'm not sure. But we are going to go do something else now. That is a little, uh, it's gonna, it's probably gonna take a little bit of time because we, we just have stocked up on a lot of this stuff. So got a lot of bones here. We have a lot of heads and sold heads. So we are going to go get a little prayer grind going and, uh, see what level prayer we can get to. We are currently sitting at 73 prayer, uh, about a million XP, million nine thousand. So we're going to do that, see what we can get to. And hopefully it shouldn't take too, too long to uh, complete that. So let's get into it and see the different methods that I am going to do. All right. So if you haven't explored Varlamore too much, then you probably don't know about this. But basically at the Tiamat, right above the place where you do the moons, it has this big blessed altar where you can bless bones. And essentially what you can do then is you can break them down into blessed shards. And each shard actually gives you five XP, five prayer XP. So it's a really good method. It's very safe, of course. So very good for hardcore iron men. And I'll show you guys exactly what that looks like to do. Um, as for rates compared to Ectofuntus, I think it's a little bit better XP than Ectofuntus, but obviously not quite as good as the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness, which obviously is a little bit more dangerous. So high risk, high reward, but this is definitely a chill method of doing everything and you can just get through all your bones very, very quickly. 
All right, after going through all of those bones, we ended with about 68,000 blessed bone shards. Now we have to go and invest in some jugs of wine. And I actually realized I do have some of these splinters, so I can actually do the method that gets you six XP per bone shard for at least some of them. I don't know if I'll have enough for all of them, but let's go get some jugs of wine. All right, we did the math, and to use all of our blessed bone shards, we are going to need 170 jugs of wine. And if if you're an Iron Man, then I'm sure you already know the best way to get jugs of wine on an Iron Man is here in Draenor Village. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a lot to buy here. Um, I guess we're going to see. Let's see. Five. Is it five at a time, or do ten come in stock here? I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and do this. Actually, I might even have grapes. I might even be able to make my own, but I'm probably going to hop and buy these. I'll be back when I have 170. All right, we have all of our jugs of wine. We just need to regen some prayer. We're going to use our Quetzal Whistle. Go back to, okay, my bird. Oh, oh, it was just delayed. Never mind. It does work in here. Who knew? All right, so we're going to go to the Teomat. And if you have Sunfire Splinters, you can use these on Jugs of Wine to turn them into Jug of Sunfire Wine. Basically what that does is it makes it so each of these Bone Shards is 6 Prayer XP instead of 5. We only have enough to do like 70 of them that way, or 70 of the Jugs, which is like 70, I don't, I don't know the math for that. Basically each Jug uses 400 Blessed Bone Shards, and that's how you're going to get XP, but... Essentially, where you're going to want to be, if you've never done this, is you're going to want to be here in Varlamore. So, here's the Civitus the Fortis, the main area. Basically, you're going to want to come over here. So, if you've done the moons or the any of the Blood Moons uh, bosses, basically, it's on top of that mountain right up here. And we're going to be going to the altar over here. Once you get to the top of the mountain here, you're going to want to go up to this exposed altar, the same spot that you blessed bones if you did that method. You're going to want to hit bless. It's going to bless all of the wine that is in your inventory. So make sure you do that first. And then you're going to want to come over here to the north. So you have the altar here where you can get prayer points back. Basically, each one of these jugs uses two prayer points. Or maybe it's each dose. I don't, I don't, I don't actually know. Um, but you're going to want to come over here north of the altar room. You're going to want to go to this libation bowl and you just want to going to hit click. You're just going to fill the libation bowl and then you're just going to hit sacrifice and then boom. Now with this, the nice thing is you can just spam it. So check that out. Oh my, look at the XP flowing in easy. I think this is a great method to do. I mean, if you're a hardcore Iron Man, this is going to be a lot safer than going into the wilderness. And if you're a normal main, I think it's a good way to just get rid of, um, just to get rid of all the bones you might have. And then, like I said, when you run out of prayer points, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into this room here to the south. You're going to go over to the shrine. You're going to click bask and boom, you have full prayer back and then you just head right back. Now, if you have the Quetzal Whistle, you're going to be able to bank and get back here pretty quick. Um, so you won't have to worry about that. Now, this is a 30 prayer uh, requirement. So, and then, of course, the quest. But as long as you have those things, like I said, for, for Iron Man in general, I think this is one of the better ways to uh, level prayer. I guess we should have checked what XP we were at before we started. Uh, I think we're around... Well, actually, let's see. We have gained... 42k so yeah we were around a mil i think i said it in an earlier clip too but we were around a mil xp let's see what these 60,000 get us there's 76 prayer all right we used all of our bone shards we went from a little over a mil to 1.38 mil xp 73 to 76 prayer 370k xp gained but we are not done yet now that we finished that, we get to do the part that, I don't know, I'm not necessarily dreading it, but it just, it just takes a lot of time, right? Gotta go through all these insult heads. We need to do all of them because we just, we just need to clear it out and, and go. 
These are going to be nice. The Abyssal Heads are going to be a lot of XP. As long as I have the magic level to bring those back. I don't even know for sure if I do, but I hope I do. But we're going to see what we get to. Right now, we are at 1.38k XP. Hopefully, we can get to at least 77 prayer. I think we can, but let's uh, let's go knock these out. 1.5k for each dragon. Yeah, this is gonna be it's gonna be pretty good XP. I always forget how great insult heads are. Just a good bonus for most tasks, you know. All right, we're finally at the home stretch. We just have our abyssal demon heads to do now. I don't even know how much prayer XP you get from each of these. So I guess we're going to find out. 1.3k each one. All right, let's finish these off strong. We made it to our last insold head. We went from, what, 73 prayer to 78 prayer. We started at like 30k over a million XP. So basically we got about 600k XP, which is pretty solid. Um, so yeah. I mean, this is this is your public service announcement telling you to go through, use your bones, use your unsold heads, do that before it gets out of control, before you have way, way, way too many. Uh, luckily, I didn't have that many to do, but great XP and do the Varlamar method if you if you haven't done it yet. I mean, it's it's definitely worth it. Um, but if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you guys as usual. Hit that like button, drop a comment, drop a sub, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.